for the same sort of money as a Porsche Cayenne or a Range Rover, you could have either of these. There's the BMW M5 Touring, or the AMG Mercedes E-Class. Both will take five people in comfort, in the same way that a Range Rover will take five people in comfort. And it's not like you're wanting for space in the boot either. In here, with the back seats folded down, I have been able to fit a massive 60 cubic feet of cheese. So if you're in the cheese-making industry, this is a very practical and impressive car. Now, because the Mercedes is lower, obviously you get less space in the back, but you'd be surprised how close it is. I've actually got 57 cubic feet of cheese in there. And if you convert cheese into dogs, that's... 4.3 Great Danes. And what's more, if I push this button here, the whole floor slides out. So if this cheddar were a dog, it would be able to get in and out more easily. Sadly, the BMW isn't quite as commodious and the rear seats don't fold down flat, but it's still not what you'd call pokey in there. So, if it's space you're worried about, these cars are very nearly as good as the four-wheel drive alternatives. They're also just as children-proof. I mean, yes, obviously, there's a lot of leather and carpet back there into which kids can rub jam and chocolate. But then, the back of a Porsche Cayenne isn't exactly a Fisher-Price ball pit, is it? So, what about the environment? Well, this is the Ape and Apple pub. It's where the Manchester branch of Greenpeace meets to discuss polar bears and algae over a lovely pint of wheatgrass. Now, the fact of the matter is that those cars produce about the same amount of greenhouse gases as a Porsche KN Turbo, but because eco-hippies are so hung up on off-road cars, look, nobody's really paying them any attention at all. In a whole hour, not one person pulled off their windscreen wipers or let down their tires. And there's more good news. These cars are more comfortable than any 4x4. Yes, sure, the BMW crashes about a bit, but the ride in the Merc is sublime. And so is its onboard entertainment navigation command system thing. The BMWs is far too complicated, but even I can get this one to work without hitting it with a hammer. Your route is being calculated. There you go. Easy peasy. Please turn right. Oh. Now turn right. And to shut her up, we just push that, and she's silenced. Please turn right in 100 yards. Of course, where both cars fall down is out here. Neither could pull a horse box up a slippery field, for instance. I know this because neither can even pull themselves up a slippery field. So, if you, uh, if you get stuck in a field, these cars are not ideal. But what if you were to get stuck, say, on the tarmac? at Manchester Airport when it was deserted because of a fire drill.